My name is Melanie Brownridge, I'm Head of Technology for NDA. My job involves making sure that we understand the technical health of the decommissioning plans across our estate and that we're doing our best to encourage innovative technologies being brought to bear to deliver solutions for some of our technical challenges. NDA's mission is a complex and often challenging mission to ensure that the decommissioning of our sites is carried out on an acceptable time scale and cost. Many of those challenges are technically complex and diverse, so research and development plays an essential role in both identifying some of those technical challenges and ensuring that the appropriate solutions are available to address those challenges. On average, over the last few years, around about 90 million has been spent on R&D across our estate, that's per year. The majority of that, around about 85 million, has been spent by our site licence companies working in conjunction with their supply chain and the remainder, around about 5 million per year, has been spent by NDA through our directly funded strategic research and development portfolio. Our strategy is that the majority of the research and development work is carried out by the site licence companies and their supply chain because R&D is an integral part of delivery of the decommissioning plans. So the sites submit to NDA on an annual basis their technology plans which set out the technical challenges and their approaches for dealing with those challenges and they also set out the maturity of the technologies and the solutions that they've chosen for those challenges. Um, it also identifies where there are residual R&D needs or risks and their research plans to address dealing with those challenges to make sure that the technical plans can be fully delivered. NDA's role is to oversee those plans from a strategic perspective, make sure that the technical solutions are technically robust and also to identify whether there are any multi-site needs or opportunities that should be picked up and taken forwards. The remainder of the R&D work, around about £5 million a year, is spent by NDA through our directly funded strategic R&D portfolio. In addition, from an innovation perspective, we've worked closely with other government funders such as Innovate UK and the Department of Energy and Climate Change and also the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council in progressing an innovation call where we've co-funded up to £6 million worth of NDA funding to a total call of £30 million on innovation ideas. So our investment is leveraging significantly the amount of funding that's available to technology providers and ensuring that there's sustainability of funding over a number of years to ensure that those concepts can be taken forwards to fruition. One example has been identifying the potential use of laser cutting in decommissioning. This is a technology that's been used extensively in the automobile industry and bringing that forward to be used in the decommissioning market and having that successfully deployed at our Magnox sites for the cutting up of skips has been a success over the last few years. In addition to that, we've also supported some early concept work to enable software to be developed for a radiation mapping device and that's now been tested and developed at the Sellafield site and has also been deployed in a novel remote way as well, thus improving the safety and reducing the amount of potential dose for workers carrying out the technical work. We work very closely with other UK government funders for, for R&D. NDA is a key funder of nuclear R&D in the UK. We work closely with other government funders such as Innovate UK in progressing innovation ideas and we also work closely with the research councils in working with the academic institutions in the UK. Our university R&D portfolio has expanded over the last few years and we're now supporting around 59 PhD students and working with 22 different universities in the UK. I wanted to do something that's going to have a real life application, it's not going to be just pure academic work but it's going to benefit other people as well. Uh, so I think that was kind of my drivers that I wanted to look into something that no one's done before and contribute to a real life application. I didn't consider nuclear as being the theme of my PhD at the time. It's a challenge that I think we all have to contribute to and I try to understand it better. The theme of PhD was looking at the chemical behavior of spent nuclear fuel in ponds. The engagement of NDA was quite active, I think, because my industrial supervisor got involved from day one, really. Uh, and he provided lots of background information which is really useful uh, to understand the nature of the problem and what is the bigger picture. At the moment uh, I'm working at the National Nuclear Laboratory, uh, so it's almost natural progression from my research uh, into international lab. Uh, so I'm involved with waste decommissioning, uh, supporting the waste treatment and immobilisation. We also work closely with other organisations that have similar challenges to us, whether that's in the defence industry or other regulated industries. 
We work closely also with other countries who face similar technology challenges to ensure that we're both gaining and sharing best practice in addressing those challenges and actually in understanding whether we have similar challenges that need to be addressed. As part of Strategy 3, we're interested in stakeholder feedback on two key areas. The first of those is whether NDA should do more through our R&D strategy to promote UK decommissioning technologies abroad. The second of those is whether NDA, through our R&D strategy, should do more to support the STEM, science, technology, engineering and mathematics agenda at a school level.